Now, Lalit Modi could well be on his way to becoming a British citizen soon. He's hinted at things going in his favor in the UK courts and with the government, in which case his Indian passport would have to be surrendered. Now, he's been living in London for the last four and a half years. And how? Radhika Iyer reports on why the IPL, a former IPL commissioner, made London his home and whether it may ever be match over for the man. Sandwiched between the upmarket lanes of the borough of Chelsea is Sloan Street one of London's best addresses. And that is Lalit Modi's house, a mansion rather, of five stories with an inbuilt elevator, 14 rooms in an area of 7,000 square feet. Modi claims that there are numerous threats to his security, which forced him to make London his home since 2010, when he first was slapped with charges of impropriety by the BCCI. Lalit Modi has been living the life of quite a quintessential Londoner. His social life or a social circle has been gradually expanding, particularly with industrialists and with NRI businessmen. According to UK laws, a person who is living in another country on leave to remain when his passport has been revoked or lost or whatever the reason may be. Of course, in Lalit Modi's case, his passport is back with him. This particular individual would have to invest a minimum of £200,000 in this country and also show some employment to fasten the process of attaining PR, permanent residency, and eventually attain British citizenship, which is what Lalit Modi is seeking. With a British passport, Lalit Modi would be free to travel to more than 170 countries without a visa. When his passport was revoked in India, Lalit obtained the leave to remain in UK status. Sources say during this time he invested up to a million pounds in stocks and newer setup. Contribution to the British economy would work in his favour towards citizenship despite criminal cases pending in India. I think when it comes to um, issues overseas, especially with people's home countries um, away from England, if they have an issue in their own jurisdiction back home, then obviously that country will look to enforce um, any offences that a person's committed. Um, for those people, you've got jurisdiction between bilateral and extradition treaties, which are usually, enforced, usually at a diplomatic um, stage, which then um, governments to governments can then rely upon in order to um, recall people back. And they usually enforce, like I said, at a diplomatic level. Normally, it would take up to three months if a person has does not have a passport for whatever reason and wants to travel outside the United Kingdom. The only simple thing to do is to make an application to the Home Affairs. But then, in Mr. Lalit Modi's case, it didn't take that long. Meanwhile, longest serving Asian MP in the United Kingdom, Mr. Keith Was, senior Labour Party MP, has been re-elected as head of the Select Committee of the Influential Home Affairs Department. Radhika Ayer reporting from London, NDTV.